I can't so believe you're so doing what? this to me. I don't I have care. No else way. To go. Come on. You know I couldn't that I care less about it. You know. What will I do? You're going out. You always. Blow I don't my want you around. here. Just tell you're me. You're gonna leave. What have I you ever must done get out to of you? Here, and where am I'll I gonna with go my now parents. with my stuff? Alexa, understand. Come on. I just I'm don't better. get it. Why you are you like this? Go wherever you want. I don't like that. Just stop it. Enough. You can go. Come on. Don't you realize that? I'm not to hold you. Stella, you're going to pay for all of this. Oh, don't you dare. It was you who started all this. <laughs> I've done everything for your future. You're an ungrateful little girl. Remember, I'll never forgive you in my life. Go away. <laughs> you have no heart at all, Stella. I truly hope we never get to see each other again. Goodbye. Why did you do this? <laughs> 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 Many years later. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! This whole party's excellent. Let's keep it going. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo -hoo! yeah! yeah! Woo -hoo! Yeah, daughter, what do you think about my house party? Mom, it's the best party I've ever been to in my life! Woohoo! Uh huh! Yeah, I tried so hard to get it right for you! Sarah, you truly have an amazing mother! So what, ladies and gentlemen? Shall we turn the music up louder? Yes! Huh? I barely heard you. You'll have to scream louder. Yeah! Yeah, with more energy. More energy. Woo! -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> yeah! Right, Ava, sports activities are over for today. And three. It's time for us to read a book. But mom, I've just started with this. I said enough's enough. Your studies must be a priority. Mm-hmm, of course, mom. So then, let's start. I want you to read me this sentence here, please. Oh, wow, this is so boring. Come on, read it. Uh, once upon a time. What is this horrible noise? It looks like our neighbors downstairs are having a house party again. I see that. Okay, let's continue. Once upon a time in the distant... Ah! What the heck's going on? David! Daddy! David! Stella, my darling, I hear you! Hey dear, go to the neighbors downstairs and ask them to turn down the music a bit because it bothers Ava and me! It's okay, I'll be back soon! Mom, while we wait for him, can I play some sports, please? Yes, of course, go ahead, my girl! Thank you very much, Mom! Uh-huh! Before. Yeah. 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 yeah! Who could it be? It seems that someone has come. Who could be knocking on our door? Wait for me here.
Do you want something? No. <gasps> Is it something urgent? Because you're interrupting my house party. That's it. Hmm? I came here because I wanted to ask you to turn the music down. It's just that my family likes it when it's quiet at all. Uh, how long will I have to wait for you to stop? I already ran out of patience. Ugh. Listen, you better finish your little house party. <laughs> I would really love to, but no. <gasps> oh yeah? Then I'll, I'll, I'll tell my wife to come here. I'm gonna let her solve this problem with you. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> and what is your wife going to do to me, dude? She is a lot stronger than you and also more beautiful, you know? What did you say, man? Ah, stay away from me! Wait there! Where on earth could David be now? No, Stella, calm down. Think logically. The music has stopped playing. That means David must be fine. <sighs> Stella, don't worry. I've got it all solved. <gasps> David! David! David, what happened to you? What happened, my love? Stella, I've done it all just for you and for our daughter. You have to tell me, please. What happened to you? Remember, Stella, I love you and Ava more than my life. Are you crazy? Ah! Ah, that really hurt. Mm -mm. How did you get those bruises? <sighs> that neighbor downstairs is crazy. I just told her to turn her music down and then see what she did to me. At least they've turned the music off. Get up. I'm not setting my foot in that house ever again. Then as always, I have to figure everything out myself. <sighs> All I have left to do is wait for Stella. Oh. <laughs> That's so true! <laughs> <laughs> oh, after so much dancing, I always get very hungry. Uh-huh, I'm just wondering who's going to pay for all this food. Uh, who what? Do you really have no money? Um, no. N see? Great! Now we'll have to leave without being seen again, without paying! Hmm? Oh. Hey children, why did you come to the cafeteria? Uh, because we got hungry. Plus, we've been dancing for three hours non-stop! You're just a couple of big babies, when I was your age! So here you are! Oh, that neighbor has completely lost her common sense. Let me tell you, uh, sister? Stella, it's been such a long time. Hello and goodbye. Uh, that shows how much you've missed your sister. I was hoping you would at least give me a hug. What did you call her sister? I don't understand anything either. And why would I give you a hug? To thank you for all the mean things you did to me as a child? <laughs> well, let's have a real talk if there's still something that makes you worried. I have absolutely nothing to talk to you about. Goodbye. <laughs> Sarah. Come on, all of our plans have changed. Where are you taking me, mom? I'll introduce you to your aunt. What aunt are you talking about? Let's go. Hey, what about me? I won't pay for all this food. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Amazing! How could he do something like that? <laughs> Stella, this is a very interesting cartoon. <laughs> David, you're 35 years old. Leave the cartoons. Mom, you should take Dad. He hasn't stopped talking the whole time. In case anyone hasn't noticed, I'm not in the mood for this. Uh, darling, come here. I'll hold you. I'll put your mind at easy. David, leave me alone. Today you're both very aggressive. Me, my sister, how are you doing in life? Did you say sister? By the way, I'm sorry, I think I've gone a bit too far. My love, um, is there something you want to explain to me? Let's go, come on. Yes, of course, dear. But don't keep me waiting for long. lot of things to do here <laughs> wait I'm telling you to wait you don't scare me at all so don't even try to do it <laughs> don't you try this on me or else I'll or else you'll what? Cry? <laughs> Are you going to start crying so everyone comes to hug you? Or else I'll make your phone suffer a lot. Uh, that's my phone. How could you steal it from me if it was in my jacket? You don't have to worry about how I've done it. Just give me my shark. Yeah, keep dreaming. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> Oops, don't say I didn't warn you And listen, it's only the beginning uh, Okay, okay, calm down now That's better I advise you to stay in this room And not touch anything for your own good, got it? Uh, I got it, I got it I'm very happy that we understand each other She's a little crazy brat my cell phone! I heard what you said! And after she finally left my own home, Alexa and I just lost touch forever. Oh, whoa. I wouldn't have imagined that you had experienced something like this. It also turns out that we're neighbors. Dang it. The bruises on my face agree with you. David, your wifey truly has a lot of imagination. She exaggerates everything. Alexa, look who's talking. David has the right to know the truth. You what know, did you you're say? Such a huh? fake. You're, you're always phony. doing this you to me. That I'm I right. see that Come nothing on. has changed Why with you. Are you, you? Pretending Are you still I'm going the same? to remind you how it really Don't happened. Don't mess with me. I haven't Come even invited on. you to such my a phony house. Sister. Come you're on. always doing oh, this. Oh, I don't like I arguments. I didn't invite you here. You should don't just you leave. Anymore? Go to your home. Really? You don't remember? I haven't hey, invited you. Hey, why are you two arguing like that? Daughter, it's all right. Alexa, we'll discuss it later. Whatever. Mommy, do we have something to eat? It's just that I haven't eaten all day. Of course, dear. I've just prepared your favorite salad. <sighs> Hooray! Hello. 
help yourself? Ew, what do you feed your daughter with? Ava, do you want some chips? She can't eat chips. My own daughter will only eat the healthy food I give her. Thank you, Mom, for the most delicious lunch. You're welcome. Ew, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> what? Ava? Hey, daughter, is that true? Um, what? You believe her? I would never do something like that to anyone. I'd never do it. <laughs> Don't lie. Sarah, right now I'm feeling very embarrassed for you. But, Mom, I'm telling you all the truth. Even if it's true, nobody needs the truth. You always have to lie. <sighs> <laughs> Alexa, what are you teaching your daughter? Mom, are you going to tell Ava something? No, because I have more important things to do. We have to eat while we're guests here. The food here is free. Sarah, dear, do you maybe want to sell it too? No, no, and no again. I'm going to find better food for my daughter. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> and this is going to get worse, I can guarantee you that. Aha! Uh -huh. When are we gonna leave this horrible place? Sarah, I came to see you. <gasps> what are you doing? Let's head quickly while they're still in the kitchen. Uh. Did you actually break the lock to sneak into someone else's house again? The truth is that I wanted to add a little romance in our relationship. Don't do it anymore. And you know, I want more attention. Uh, hey, are you sick or something? Since when do you like giving hugs? Oh, you have no idea of everything that just happened to me in this house. Oh, wow, I like gossip. Come on, tell me. It turns out that I have a cousin here in this house. Hmm. We met for the first time and she broke my cell phone. She threw it on the floor. <laughs> uh, I think I got it. That's what you told your mother, right? Sam, I wasn't the one who broke my cell phone. You know, I don't believe you at all. Huh? This seems normal to you. And after this, you dare to call yourself my boyfriend? Uh, I see you're really not a kid at all. I think I'm gonna leave. Oh! Why are you stealing those stupid wigs? Uh, never mind. <sighs> I remember telling you to stay in your bedroom. Uh, don't you worry. Your mother has given me permission to be here in the gym. I'll ask her about that permission later. Alright, I don't have time to talk to a loser like you. I've come here to train with my ways. With your ways? Where are they? Have you taken them? Uh, no. Do I actually seem like a person who's seen to sports? <laughs> it's over. You've asked for it. Now I'm going to destroy you. How dare you I take didn't other do it. people's I swear. Don't do you think my I'm ways. Still How so stupid? Here? Come on, come on. That's it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. A little more, a little more. Yeah! Honey, are you busy? Oh, it seems that I have a lot of work. Yeah. 
Uh, I get it. My day's not the best. Uh, don't worry, dear. I think your sister will go to her house soon to have another one of those house parties. I hope so, really. I want her out of here. Everything will be alright, dear. Hey, guys. You're going to be very surprised with this. Are you going to leave? You know what's coming for you if you dare talk to me like that again, my friend? Uh, um, joking. Alexa, say what you wanted, please. They've kicked me out of the flat I was renting, and Sarah and I, dun 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 dun, we're gonna stay here! What? I knew you would have no problem with it, thank you. I can't believe it! <laughs> no, the truth is that I'm very tired. Can I sit down? Uh, of course, it. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know what? The truth is that I want to lie down. Well, you know, David and I were having a talk here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't you say? Well, then find another place to talk, then. Let's go, David. It's useless to argue with her. Let's go. <sighs> I'm just so happy. A new page in my life. And the best thing is that now I'll have everything I want for free. So, I've written this. And these two. Sarah? What are you doing here so early? It says that I didn't do my homework and I forgot my books at school. Um, it's the first time I've heard such horrible words from you. Sam, is it just me or are you behaving very differently now? See, what? Does this come from the person who suddenly wants to study and has become affectionate? You may be right about that, but I think I'm at least changing for the better. Oh no, I think I'm losing my lovely girl. Who am I going to rub shops with now? My god, Sam, you only have one thing in your mind. I completely forgot about our math homework! Oh well, just look who's here! Ava, what the heck are you doing at this school? I've come to school to study! God, don't tell me that we also study in the same school now! Is that your new cousin? Why do you ask if you've understood everything yourself? Well, losers, I won't be around for long. I just want to lift my spirits a little. <gasps> Ava! Yeah, I heard you, Sarah. Have a nice day, too. <sighs> and now, who does she think she is? Hmm. That girl Eva reminds me of someone I know. And after this, you will still not believe what I tell you about her? Yeah, she's a little off-putting. But what's stopping you from going and kicking her back? No, those revenge things and all of that aren't for me. Now I'll be a better person. Sarah, wake up. I want everything to be like it was before. Stealing with you, getting back grades together, ramming through garbage. Sorry, Sam, but no. <laughs> You've also started to apologize. I get it. I'll solve this thing with Ava. Wait! It seems to me that between you two, she's the normal one. Sarah! Uh, 
Alexa, you've been in the bathroom for two hours. I hope you get out of here soon. Let me think. I still have... A lot of time. Because of you, I'm going to be late for work. You should solve your problems yourself, okay? Gosh. But you're wearing Stella's robe. And that's her face mask, too. So what? Sisters have to share stuff. I hope Stella remembers that. You know, she doesn't like it when they take her things without asking for her permission first. David, stop telling me those stories. Actually, Stella's very nice with me and she loves me even though she denies it. Alright, so be it. Can I at least take a shower? No, you can't. Go. Go, go. But please, get I out don't of here. Take a shower. Come on, get out of here. Ugh. <sighs> Let's proceed. <laughs> oh, that Alexis, nothing but a headache. Oh. <sighs> uh, it seems like taking a shower in the kitchen is the only chance to get to work on time. Well, I have to find something to use, like shaving foam. Oh, that's it! <laughs> oh, this foam's texture is so weird! Ah, <sighs> is it morning already? Yeah, I'd say it's daytime. Understood. David, what are you doing in the kitchen? Oh, you should ask your sister. She just occupied the bathroom. I get it. What are you washing yourself with? I wanted to share my bird, but it seems that the shaven pollen has already expired. Look. <laughs> David, it's a dishwashing product. <laughs> what? Oh, this is horrible! Stella, you should buy these amazing face masks again. I really like them a lot. Nobody has allowed you to use my things. If you only knew how much they're worth. I knew that you were willing to do anything for your sister. <sighs> Listen, Stella. What if we buy a new apartment for Alexa? That way she'll leave our home. Oh no, she doesn't deserve to get expensive gifts. It's better that she lives with us for a while. And what about her bad attitude? I know it, but I have to be nicer than her. <sighs> Otherwise, what example am I going to set for Ava? Yeah, that's true. Her daughter has to be the best. I agree with that. What's going on now? Shoot! My work! Oh, my glasses! <sighs> what happened, girls? She's bothering me! I see that. Alexa, come here quickly now. They're finally going to know the whole truth about you. Mom, please tell me something nice. My little sunshine. Why are you yelling so much? I just wanted to sleep in peace. How can you sleep? Your daughter is bothering mine now. I don't believe my eyes. You finally followed my advice, young girl. Mom, how so? I've never touched Seva. It's all her fault. What? 
daughter, you disappoint me so much, my dear. Miss Alex, I really think you should punish my cousin Sarah for disobeying you. Mm-hmm. Sarah, today we're going to have a very serious talk. Listen, if this continues like this, you leave me no alternative. I'll kick you out. Hooray! I can't wait. I've already heard you, Stella. Hey, daughter. Come with me far away from those two. And Sarah should stay here while she thinks about her behavior. Exactly. Let's go. Hey, listen. I'll talk to you after my nap. Goodbye. Can you listen to me just one time, mother? Later. How can my mom not care at all about what I'm feeling right now? <sighs> I have to study because tomorrow I have an exam. So you're studying, how boring. I think you should go for a walk. No, studies are the most important matter. Oh, why do you like to study that much? Everyone likes different things. By the way, I forgot to tell you, you can pack your bags now, I'll help you. What do you mean by that? Soon you're gonna move away from here, or rather I'm gonna make sure it happens. Ava, are you seriously gonna do that? Do you not have feelings? I don't care. After all, I'm the most popular girl in our school. Huh? I wouldn't say the same. Sarah, Sarah! Sam, why did you come here again? You know how much I love drama. And I decided to investigate the whole situation. Don't you say so? And how's it going? Listen to me, girl. I want to reconcile with you. Why have you suddenly decided to help me if you don't even like that I've changed to the better? I don't regret what I said about it, but... I overheard that Ava wants to throw you out of the house and that I can't allow it to happen. I don't want that. Where are you going to have the parties with your mother? Yes, I see that. You're there overhearing conversations again. I've done it just for you, because I love you. Okay, tell me your plan then. No, no, I'm not going to tell you anything. I don't want to spoil it. After all this, Sam still loves me. Wait, I forgot to do my homework. I have so much to do, I don't have time for anything. So, I prepare something to eat, wash all the dishes, uh, and I also have to write this down. So, Sarah's following your example? Why are you here? Who are you? Well, um, I'm your niece's cool boyfriend. Oh yeah, why did I ask you? You're just as rude as her, I could have guessed. Uh-huh, it would be better to keep an eye on your daughter instead of criticizing. What do you mean by that? You'll understand everything if you come with me, miss. Can you explain it to me at least? Basically, Ava is not as perfect as you think, Miss Stella. Excuse me, but I can't believe you. I can show you everything if you just follow all my instructions. Suppose I accept it. What should I do? Follow me. After you.
Now say it. Hey, Ava. I'm going to go shopping. I'm so glad my mom's gone and now I'm gonna have time to finish what I've started. Sarah, come to a hall, please. I have something very important to tell you. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Uh, Ava, what are you doing with my clothes on the floor? Please stop. No, <laughs> no. What? I don't believe what I see. I'm going to solve this now. No, you should wait. It's too early. No one's going to believe you if you say that I did it anyway. But why? Why do you do so many bad things to me, Ava? Because I want my parents to know that this is not a place for you. If you succeed in doing that, then my mom and I won't have a place to live. <laughs> Cry as much as you want. I don't care anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with this time. I was watching you the whole time, girl. Miss Stella, I told you she was like this. Sam, not only you. <laughs> I didn't expect something like this from my daughter. How am I going to look at people's size now? Looks like you just got caught red handed. And uh, what will be my punishment for this? Uh, there won't be one. What scared me the most is that you were like I was before. Oh, see what? Miss Taylor, how so? Mom? Very good, Stella. It's the moment of truth. Alexa, drop it. I will tell you everything. Stella hasn't always been as good as she is right now. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible. Before she was the bad one and I was the perfect daughter. Oh wow. Well. And when our parents were once again called from the police station for her bad behavior, I had an idea. I told them to take her to the correctional facility where they make her be better. That's the reason why she's mad at me until today. That's why Ava behaves a lot like you and Sarah, like Miss Teller. Tell me, Mom, why did you end up being bad? Because I wanted to take revenge on her when I came back. After coming from the correctional, I betrayed my sister Alexa on purpose. <sighs> and I got what I wanted. Our parents kicked her out of the house at once. Now you know, that's the whole truth, family. That's what happened. You should make peace, and that way you're going to teach your daughters how adults behave. I have no problem, Stella. Give me a hug. Come here now. I'm doing all this just for the sake of both our daughters. Sarah, Ava, now it's your turn, girls. Um, I can't do this. Come, give me a hug. Family, I'm home. Uh, is everything okay, people? As fine as it gets. These girls are very confusing. Firstly, they're fighting, then they're hugging. I better go to work for a while. Ha, 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 